Hi, if you are living in New Delhi, the most polluted city of the world, then yes, uh, welcome to the land of dandruff, which is going to be a part and parcel of our life. Please understand, dandruff is not an infection, it is like an infestation. Already, normally, naturally, all human beings have something living on our bodies, which is called as Malassezia furfur. It's a simple yeast, overgrowth of it looks like dandruff. Of course, it can be of different types, it can be oily scalp associated, it can be dry scalp associated, it can be associated with various diseases. It can also be associated with poor immunity and also something which I like to call as invisible dandruff which is extremely common in pollution and people living in pollution and polluted cities. And pollution doesn't necessarily mean just the air which we breathe, it also means the stress in our body, pollution in our mind and also the chemicals which we are being exposed to which could be in terms of uh, blow dry, heat, shampoos, gels which boys use very oftenly. Those are also chemicals, perfumes which we are using on the nape of the neck. So yes, all of that. Please note, dandruff is of course embarrassing and we don't want it to be shown to others even though others are also suffering from it. So please remove the mental stigma, keeping your hair clean. Trying to understand what is the shampoo which is going to naturally cleanse your scalp is very important. And my favorite and my used, personally used favorite is simple apple cedar vinegar, lemon juice, cetrimide. If I have lot of dandruff, if I'm a lot in the pollution, I'm on the roads, traveling on a road trip and I come back, I start using cetrimide for two or three nights, 2% cetrimide lotion. 5 drops of water and 2 drops of the cetrimide lotion, I take it in a bowl with a cotton ball, I just put it in my scalp and especially the areas where I feel there is itching which I call as invisible dandruff but all I'll do is I'll be itching like this, this sometimes. So that is the places you will just put this decoction and you will shampoo after in half an hour or one hour using an anti-dandruff shampoo of your choice, something which contains nice ketoconazole, zinc pyrethone, clotrimazole, such kind of good brands and brands of choice. Uh, you can stick to those kind of shampoos and do not oil your hair ever. I have not oiled my hair for decades and if you are still somebody who is very fond of oiling but you live in Delhi and you are still fond of, please apply and shampoo immediately in 30 minutes maximum. You can also do if you have very dry hair, dry scalp, it's a good idea to oil your hair in that case. That is reverse conditioning. So you oil your hair and after 5-10 minutes shampoo your hair. So you are not sticking with the oil. Putting oil in the hair makes the you know makes it more heavier and all the dust and dirt and grime in the air comes and settles on the oil which further leads to dandruff. Whereas we feel that oiling our hair is going to be combating dandruff. There are a lot of products in the market which I am strictly against and I believe do not work. But there are oils in the market which claim that they are anti-dandruff. Don't fall prey to it is what we are trying to tell you here. Four anti-dandruff solutions and remedies. One we discussed a home remedy, of course the shampoo. Visiting a dermatologist, if you have visible dandruff, which I just can't tolerate, at least for myself. And if you are having visible dandruff, it's a good idea to visit a dermatologist. If you are having visible dandruff, try and understand if you have an oily scalp or it is dry scalp associated. The dry scalp one will come in the dry weather, with which I mean in the winters. It is the winters which will lead to dry skin and those skin cells will just, you know, exfoliate and will be looking like visible dandruff. It can also be associated with certain diseases like sore acids and other autoimmune disorders, it can be associated with chemicals. So you need to know what is the cause of dandruff, get it treated. There are certain antifungal agents like fluconazole on weekly dosage which is given to people who have visible dandruff and trust me it works wonderfully. The home remedies discussed today really work wonderfully but they have to be practiced properly. After the whole shampoo, what I do is I routinely use apple cedar vinegar, which is the favorite uh, conditioner for me. I sometimes do it before. If it's a dry weather, I first put vinegar and then put my shampoo. That is a good idea. In summers, I do ulta, where I first do my shampoo and then do the vinegar for these kind of hairs. Reduce chemicals. If you're coloring your hair, be very particular after chemicals, uh, after exposure, with which I mean after coloring your hair, it's a good idea to do one of these home remedies to ensure there is no over growth of dandruff. So yes, this is about dandruff for today. But if you have more questions on it, please feel free to ask us below in our comments. And please give me more topics and questions you would like to hear from me in my print opinion. Thank you.